for his business capital is Chua Lai Sung, an electronics engineer graduate who is clicking towards a green and healthy one-button solution with his universal remote keychain. Today I'm going to introduce my product. It's called Universal Remote Control. With this Universal Remote Control, you are able to control your TV, your light, your projector, your aircon with just only one single click button and we try to make it into a key change so that we can easy to carry around and with this concept it will become a smart home concept that everyone is dreaming of and this concept also is especially good for the old and disabled people Will the green click turn on our investors? Find out if his idea will go the distance and if the judges will go gaga over his gadget right after the break. Welcome back to my EG Make the Pitch. You're joining us in time for the second pitch of the day made by Chua Lai Sung, who hopes to eliminate all remote controls with the advent of his universal remote controller he calls Green Clicks. Let's see if the judges will go gaga over his gadget. Chua Lai Sung is convinced that his smart home concept has the right touch and will be a dream come true for all electronic device users. Let's hope the judges are on the same wavelength. So right now I feel a bit nervous. I'm going to make the speech and going to the judges right now. So I already have my product ready and installed in the studios. So later on I hope my demo of the product can go on smoothly and well. If everything goes on smoothly, I think with my effort and all the things that have done, I'm able to go to the next round. My name is L.S. Chua. Today I presented my product. It's called Universal Remote Control. Actually, I'm introducing a platform. And the basic concept is one click to on, one click to off. So why I can sell? Because this is things that everyone needs. And it's low cost and feel easy to carry and feel high-tech and apply a smartphone home concept and it's especially useful for old and sick and disabled people. So why is it not good now? There are too many remote control in one house actually right now and still need more. So what actually needed is actually one button concept. It's one click to on, one click to off. So this is product coverage. With this universal control, I'm targeting to control all the devices that I can control. You can see it here, aircon, TV, home light, power switch, talking clock. Yes. So at here, I want to go to here. So I'm doing my marketing strategy into four phase. Then right now I'm doing the phase one. Actually phase one, quite a number of things already can come up. So I can do a demo to use. So the first one is a light. You can see it here. It's one click to on. The remote control here, key change. One click to off. That's all. Then I also can control the radio here. OK. One click to on. One click to off. So the one click will switch on a few things at one go? No. Um, actually, the things have a direction. I think the thing is too close together. Therefore, the light is on. And the studios uh, here is really very, very low, IR, RF, and the noise here. Actually, I do it in my homes, uh, no problem. And actually, right now, the product also is not fully matured. 
Actually, I have also have a concept, want to do a spatial IR coding. Right now, I'm using a general IR. As long as any IR, it will trigger. So actually, right now in the developing stage, to make sure that within the spatial code, then it will only trigger, not by the general code. Even with a special code, surely mm -hmm. the appliances will still, s will still share the same special code. So uh, there yes. is still a possibility of you switching on more than one appliance at one time. If the two product is the uh, IR is placing too close together, of course, it will trigger two at the same times. So if you have a light, one thing is here, one thing is there. Okay, we by uh, here we narrow down the beaming, so you will just only be this light on, this light off, and this light on, this light off. So it just only will be specific product. So you have to put the chip into the device that you want to control. Yes, that's right. Um, well, I think that may invalidate some warranties if you open up and put in chips. So how would you address that? Okay, so the things about the marketing strategy. First one is to have the standalone first phase. So it's just something like a standalone things that can control things. Okay, this is something that is introduced to the market. Then after introduced to the market, then really we need to work with all the electronic big giants, okay, to the second phase, okay, to introduce to the market so that they are willing to use our code and apply our code into their product. So that we can t control TV, aircon, fans, radio, player, also the projectors. For projector, we just need an on and off only. What's so, what's mm -hmm. the expected cost per device? It can be very low. Really, really low. Okay, I have the calculate the bond cost. Actually, right now I'm doing the all the cost now things, possible cost now. Isolating the part that is can work and the low cost. The the thing is this: the mm -hmm. the, the general one, mm -hmm. you know, will tend to trigger all um, electrical appliances, yeah, unless you keep them sufficiently apart. Yes. So it doesn't work very well. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean. The the thing with too many remotes is you know is usually things like TV, DVD, you know, uh, VCD, all the appliances that you put close, close to together. each other. Yeah. So if uh, that doesn't apply, I mean, uh, all the rest of it is not really uh, too troublesome. Um, and um, the thing is, uh, as I was saying, the, the general one is uh, too general, uh, and the specific one will take time to develop. Uh, and will involve tampering with all the equipment in the house. Uh, so it doesn't make it simple anymore. You know what I mean? Yes, and, yeah. a, and a non-electronics engineer wouldn't be able to program his appliances. No, the key part is they just need to have this one. Control the things that is visible in your range. Okay, can you switch off this right now? To, no, no, can you, now. Can you take five seconds to switch it off? Uh, no, not this one. I'm saying but about something like my light. Yes, but we didn't see how long you spent programming that, that bulb. Programming the bulb? We, we didn't see how long it took you to program that bulb. You mentioned that you can program it within 5 seconds. So if you could program this light within 5 seconds, then no. it would okay. be very enlightening to us. The, to providing the, the things, uh, this one is an emitter. They re also require a receiver. The receiver uh, also needs a microcontroller. So the microcontroller is receiving the data Okay, then do the programming, th then do the switching. How many so devices can you put in at this for one receiver? Um, okay, I will recommend one device, one black box, this receiver, so that you just control this light only. So how many black boxes would you yeah. require for, say, 10 different electrical appliances? 10 black boxes? Yes, that's yes, right. Otherwise, they will oh. all switch on at the same time. Yeah, unless you want to all switch on, <laughs> which you do not want, right? Most of the time, just need to one device to on. Yeah, but how do I on. even connect the black box? Where do I connect it? For example, is this is this light here? Where where do I connect the black box? Do I connect it at the power power supply, the the on off button? Depend on you where you want to control it. So if you want to say that the black box you want to put it here, the receiver you want to be here, so you just put it here. Yes. So so I'm still trying to to find out why should I um, give up my remote? and install these many, many black boxes who may make the house look quite strange uh, just for the benefit of being able to, to click that. I, I still don't see 
what would make me want to give up using the current remotes that I have? Okay, right now I'm using the black box. Actually, you can make it to be a white box so that you <laughs> fit to your house. Also <laughs> can't. So the remote control, anyway, you want to control all your things, you also need to search for the remote controls. Thank you for a very mm -hmm. interesting pitch. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. So what do you think of the judge's feedback towards your product? The judge's feedback is uh, within my expectation. They asked the question that I expected that they, they asked. So I'm able to answer their question accordingly as the, I have already prepared. And based on this feedback, what would you change with your product now? I'll need to make my products to be more strong, more robust, less sensitive to the surrounding noise. As we come to the studio, really my product is uh, very sensitive to the studio ambient noise. Actually, it's uh, something like goes not really say accordingly.